Hello and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be continuing our discussion of compressors, but this time we're actually going to put one into action. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in and see. I have created a little drum loop right here, and this is kind of a jazzy drum loop. Let me let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, so we're now going to go in and hit the Add Effects button. Click on the effect we're going to do, and we're going to uh, use the Dynamic Compressor. So this Dynamic Compressor has the things that we talked about last time with the attack and the release. Remember, those are both in speed, measured in milliseconds right now. Uh, the threshold, the point at which our uh, volume is going to be... Uh, reduced the ratio and we have a knee option here which is actually how sharp this break is is it an exact angle or is it more of a rounded uh idea um that's what the knee is and then this meter on the side will show us actually how much gain reduction is occurring as the signal fluctuates so um we're just going to begin uh, with zero on our threshold and a ratio of one, that would be no compression. And then we'll begin to add and see what happens. So actually I must go ahead and set the ratio to a, um, hefty eight to one ratio so that we can really pick up on what's happening. So here we go. There is no gain reduction being had right now because the threshold's at zero. So we're going to start dipping our threshold until we actually see the gain reduction begin to occur. So we're getting minimal gain reduction here. Now if we turn our attack speed up, we'll start getting a little bit more. Threshold on down, now we're getting a significant amount of gain reduction. So let's compare those two sounds. Here is with the compressor. Without the compressor. Now, I will say that this compressor seems to me, I don't know this for sure, but it seems to me that this compressor has an automatic makeup gain on it. So it's actually making up the gain on its own. So as it does that uh, threshold gain reduction, it's actually reboosting the signal. So you're getting a slightly louder bottom end. But this is the idea of compressing. We're taking off the attacks and the initial pump, but we're also increasing that bottom. So you'll hear a little bit greater sustain on the drums right now and not so much attack from the front end because the attack's at pure zero. So let's listen to that again. With the compressor and without the compressor. So now I'm just going to have the compressor on. I'm going to begin to make a lot of different choices here. And you'll be able to see what I do. I'm just clicking and dragging up and down on these arrows to see how you can actually manipulate the sound of the drums.
So what, a couple things you probably notice is that you can really change the sound of the drum. And this knee was actually affecting a lot of distorted effect. Um, the sharper the knee is to zero, the little bit more distortion that you're getting. And then as we rolled that back up toward one, we got a little bit smoother sound. So um, that would be the different things that can happen using the compressor. Um, the compressor is not just for drums. As a matter of fact, it can be used for almost anything. Um, it's one of the most common things that is applied to any audio track um, for smoothing purposes. Um, a lot of times you could smooth out the strumming on an acoustic guitar. If you're able to reduce the peaks of the pick noise, then you can increase the tail out of the note or the sustain of the note and by doing so you're actually creating a more even track that is easier to blend you could do this for vocals to help avoid plosives and the things that happen um, when you have plosives and vocals um, so just a lot of different things that you could begin to use your um compressor for get in there apply it i would put this after the eq um, so that you're compressing your equalized sound um, so this would be the second thing in the chain that you're creating and it does matter what the order is so you would go in sound trap from left to right so this would be um, in the second slot while the equalizer was in the first slot. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button below.